Well, cease and desist halted construction on the Muskegon County Hotel for violating the non-compete clause. That building has been sitting empty ever since that. Julie Denmeyer follows up with what's changed since we first brought you the story back in April. Fruitport Township created a blight ordinance with one goal, to rid the giant eyesore near the lake small. Now, six months later, no changes. Under lock and key sits a property owned by a Metro Detroit man, a man Fruitport Township officials can't get a hold of. They say Malik Abdul Noor started this project and never finished. Now he won't return the township's phone calls directing them to his attorney. And for obvious reasons, businesses near these abandoned hotels say enough is enough. I mean, for, for a myriad of reasons, I mean, primarily we work so hard to, to bring a nice physical presence and image here in Norton Shores, um, you know, and, and work with the township to make sure that we're maintaining those rules and those, those nice appearances. And then that's right across the street. The township saying they're working to develop a DDA in this area. This abandoned building only slowing their progress. The Fruitport Township Supervisor tells me if we could do a story on this once a month, he'd be happy to. He just wants these buildings gone. Reporting in Fruitport Township, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.